look at his scouting report, but you're right, looked very mature and very in control on Friday. But first pitch he throws in, delivered to Luca Lotito. And it's a base hit for the Gales to kick things off. Joe Gilbert first pitch swings. That's headed for short. One run's going to come in. No play at first. So Tennessee capitalizes here in the bottom of the first early one nothing lead. RBI Drew Gilbert. It can be very intimidating as Lipscomb fires on the one two. Headed for that right field wall. It's over the fence. Third home run of the season for third baseman Trey Lipscomb. What an explosive start to the year for Lipscomb in Tennessee. Andy, Four in the inning. Yeah, Andy, this is just a great piece of hitting right here. This is a two-strike approach. He's looking for a ball to hit it over towards the second baseman. Gets a better pitch to hit. Gets it elevated. Now it goes over the fence. So, 3-2 pitch now from Burns. Polinski on the ground. This is going to bring home a run. So Iona able to respond. On the ground out from Polinski, Phoenix Bowman touches home plate. 0-2 for Helmstetter to Gilbert. Up the middle, it's through. One run will score. Hard turn, it's a two RBI single, Drew Gilbert. There's just no easy outs in this Tennessee lineup. Here's a guy that shortens up with two strikes, doesn't try to do too much. Good piece of hitting. Rewarded with two RBIs. Get you in any kind of direction you want as Lipscomb towers one very high, shallow center field, ranging over as Lotito. He can't make the play. It drops in. Gilbert was running the whole time and he scores. Yep, that's just a situation right there where the center fielder heard the crack of the bat. Thought the ball was hit better than what it was. Took his first two or three steps back. As you can see, got a bad read. By the time he comes in, it's too late. Falls in front. You've got two out. A one for take it. He cracks it into left field. That's a base hit. Trey Lipscomb hard turn to third. Third of the plate, not in time. Another RBI for Tennessee. Drill Ortega gets in on the action. With two outs, you're going to be sending your runner from second on any two with Russell. Russell cracks it. This is headed for the gap. It's going to drop in. It soars. One hops the wall. That's going to play two runs. Tennessee continues to add on. That's a two RBI double, Evan Russell. Yep, and this is just what Tennessee does. They get down. They just don't strike out. They shorten up, they have good approaches. The guys are strong. They 1-1 one, one for Lawson. That gets through the infield for a base hit. Evan Russell around third. He'll head home. Tennessee now a seventh run in the inning. RBI Cortland Lawson. He's an aggressive base running. Aggressive swings early in count to Stevenson. He flares that one into right center in the gap. Tennessee putting it all over the field. Hard turn at third is Lawson. RBI double set Stevenson. Tennessee keeps it rolling. Going to be in the tournament, a tournament team in Tennessee last year just to get that experience and feel. Throw over not in time as Trey Lipscomb able to beat out a ground ball to short. We might have to take a break in the fifth inning. Evan Russell launches one way back. Hey, that guy didn't know he was going to get a baseball with that hamburger, did he? Absolutely destroyed that ball over the porch into the river. And that's a first home run of the season for Evan Russell. That's got to feel good for him, too. Here's a, here's a guy that took this offseason and, and got himself ready defensively. Going back, he hasn't caught since he was in high school. Had to go back and relearn the position. His hittings took a little bit of a back seat for that. You know, there's, there's even more pressure to it, right? Portland lost. 
Dawson unleashes. Goodbye. Back to back. Fur coat is going to get a lot of usage this weekend. And there's another first for us, right? Back to back from two guys who hadn't hit a home run yet this season. Good swing by Lawson. You know, he looks like he's starting to settle in a little bit. I've really liked the approach. And it bounces behind Polinski. Blake Burke will easily score. And Tennessee has their third of the inning. Now 15th total run. Ripped left field. Base hit down the line. At least one's going to score. Kyle Booker rounding third and trudging home. Two RBI double for Trey Lipscomb. RBIs five and six. Yep. Lipscomb just keeps tacking on to an already impressive day. Gets a pitch out over the plate. Turns on it down the left field line. Two bagger, two RBIs. Lipscomb unleashes no. and deep center. It's back. Oh. It drops. This is going to get past the center fielder. Lipscomb rounding for third. It's a bases clearing cycle completion for Trey Lipscomb. Well, I guess you didn't jinx him after all, Andy. Unbelievable. Wow. Five for five day. And that's a tough thing to do in this park. Like I said, there, there's not a lot of room. He hit it to a spot where there was a lot of room. It couldn't have been more perfectly yeah. drawn up. I mean, Burton just tries. 3-1 to Russell. Thought about it, holds off, ball four. So now Trey Lipscomb gets to touch home and, and get a little bit of applause from his teammates. As Burt goes up a left field, great distance. It's over the wall. A first career homer for Blake Burke. Snuck that ball just inside the foul pole. Good piece of hitting. Ball got out pretty quick, didn't it, Andy? In a hurry, and he just about caught up to Christian Scott and his trot back to home. How about it from the freshman? He's cold. He's going to put that coat on. Good piece of hitting right here, stays on it, gets a pitch out over the plate, keeps it fair, off the porch. Cody Vitello team has scored his 28, it's Christian Scott. High into center. Plays made by Burton, tagging up Inslee. Another run for Tennessee, 24. One closer. A little bit closer. Now, we'll have to do a little bit more digging to see the last how many runs a Tennessee team in history has scored the most ever. But for a Tony Vitell team, 28 is. First pitch swing and Jared Dickey deep into right center. Forget about it. A missile. Andy, I got a question for you. How would you feel if you were hitting 600 and you can't get a start? You got to hit a home run, I guess, right? That's what Jared Dickey's going to try to do. Four for six on the year now. Hasn't started a game yet, but that's RBI number three. He has definitely proven himself. Take that at this point. Cracked into left, drops in, and as soon as we set it, roll into the wall as Charlie Taylor is going to bring home two to extend the lead further, 27 now. Charlie Taylor finds a gap. Two RBIs. 2-2. Two -two. Got him. Three straight strikeouts from McLaughlin to close things down. It's all Tennessee, 27-1 to one here in game one of this three-game set, and they get the job done against Iona.